फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दिस अपील बाय एक्यूज नंबर टू इज अगेंस्ट द जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ जुडिकेचर एट मेड्रास कन्विक्टिंग हिम अंडर सेक्शन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन ऑफ द बॉन्डेड लेबर सिस्टम एबोल्यूशन एक्ट 1976 by the said judgment the high court reversed the decision of the principal sessions judge by which the appellant was acquitted under the act as well under the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe prevention of atrocities act 1989 herein after referred to as the 1989 act the appellant accused number 2 is the son of accused number 1 who expired during the pendency of the matter before the trial court itself the case of the prosecution is that upon a complaint received at his office on 3rd march 2006 the district revenue officer chengal pattu herein after referred to as pw8 raided messrs murugesha rice mill tamil nadu along with other officers and found pws 1 to 6 working in the rice mill as bonded laborers he issued a necessary order under exhibit p4 to p10 to release the laborers following the raid an fir came to be filed on 16th march 2006 against accused number 1 the father of the appellant herein and also against the appellant as accused number 2 after completing the formalities the sessions judge framed charges against accused numbers 1 and 2 for offences under section 16 and 17 of the act and also under section 3110 of the 1989 act during the trial the prosecution examined pw1 to pw13 and marked documents being exhibit p1 to p12 prosecution against accused number 1 having abated due to his death during trial the sessions court proceeded against the appellant at the outset the sessions court held that the prosecution could not prove that the victims were members of any scheduled caste or scheduled tribe and therefore charge under the 1989 act did not lie in so far as the prosecution under the act is concerned the trial court held that the prosecution could not prove the case against the appellant for having committed the crime under section 16 of the act the sessions court held that there is no evidence to link the appellant to the rice mill business run by his deceased father the relevant portion of the order is as under the defense counsel denied that there is no connection between the a2 and the rice mill and a2 selva kumar is residing at chengalpattu in this regard while perusing the evidence of pw13 investigating officer he has clearly deposed that he has not examined whether the a2 was residing along with his father or whether a2 is residing at chengalpattu hence without proper investigation and proof a2 has been implicated as accused in this case if we peruse exhibit p4 to exhibit p10 release certificates issued by pw8 thirumati kartika revenue divisional officer chengal pattu it is stated specifically that murugesa naikar is the owner of the above rice mill and not a2 selva kumar hence the evidence adduced by the prosecution is not sufficient to link a2 with the functioning of rice mill and the participation of a2 in the day to day affairs of the rice mill stop